Professor Dmitry presented the general overview of the Connecting Nature project, an exercise we did in Sarajevo, we would like to present you a concrete example of the work we did. All three of us, Balman, Ervin, and Leila, were participants of the Day and the Half workshop, which was led by Dimitra, Paula, and Paulina. Dimitra already explained how the process went, but even though it was private and emotional, we'd like to share with you the exact reflections and photo we brought to the workshop. First, Leila will share her story, after that Mermina, and then Belma. This picture is not an actual picture taken from my photo album. It's randomly taken from the internet, and here is why. Usually, pictures serve to preserve the memory on a moment, act, or time, but in some situations, preserving memory is the last thing to think about. The war began in early April 1992, and with the war came lack of water, electricity, heating, and food. By the end of the October, most of the trees in the city were cut down. People struggled to survive. Soon, there were no trees and only bare land remained. In front of my building, there were little forests, and very soon, it became a plot of land. We, we would eat what we got in humanitarian aid, usually rice, beans, and macaroni. Healthy food was an abstract concept. No one thought about it. It was too expensive and you, you just couldn't afford it. Once, from humanitarian aid beside an e-car can, biscuits who were made in 1964 and Tabasco sauce, we got the carrot seeds. And that's where the story begins. Some neighbors got the seeds from other vegetables and community gardens were established. Each building had its small garden and each family in the building had a part inside the garden. We would trade for seeds, and the neighbors who couldn't plant for some reason, they would, they would give their seeds to the other neighbors. And in return, they would get one or two pieces of different vegetables for a season. In a very difficult period for all citizens, community garden played a big role. It was not only a source of survival, it also served as a place for people to gather, socialize, share information, knowledge, products. This is a not a short, sad story about the war, deprivation, hunger, but opposite, a story that celebrates community gardens as a perfect example of how small piece of land and seeds can brighten life in times of horror. When Dimitra asked us to bring physical photo for the exercise, I had a hard time finding one, simply because we do the, don't do that anymore. We just keep filling our electronic devices with photos and slowly forget the family gatherings when we would take out the old albums and go through old photographs, which would bring out the emotions and memories about the old times. Anyway, this photo was taken about six years ago. My husband had some health issues at the time when the photo was taken and he just got out of the hospital. We as a family love to spend every spare time in nature, green places around us, and some river or just a spring, and that's all we need to relax, recharge, and escape from virtual world and double life we're all living in digital era. This day we also wanted to go somewhere in nature, but not too far because my husband couldn't take long driving. So we went to this park near our house and there was a guy who offered to take a photo of us and print it out immediately. My younger son, who was two at the time, kept sliding his little finger over the photo, trying to check other photos with his confused face, which says, where's the touch screen? Then I realized that was the first time he actually sees a physical photo. So this photo brings out the memory about the family, long lo lost photo albums and new digital age with all what it brings and memory about green places, which serve us as chargers because we too need energy source and regular charging even more than our mobile phones and other devices. This photo was taken in 1997 in the back garden of my family house. My youngest sister is in it. She was almost four years old. She was born during the war. There was no electricity, water and almost no food. She's in the garden and behind her is tomato and other vegetables that we see it, as this was after the war. What is also important, that during the war we could not go out of the house during the day because of the sniper and we could not see anything there. Also, for one and a half year we were at friend's place which was a bit safer and it had a balcony and basement. We could only see it on the balcony as it was hidden from the view of enemy lines and sniper spots. 
So this photo symbolizes new beginning and coming back home and finally not only to seed vegetables but also flowers. On the second day of the workshop, prior to body mapping exercise, we visited the Trebevich mountain and did ecotherapy and immersion in nature exercise. To go to and back from the mountain, we used cable car and also visited some important sites in Sarajevo, which were shown in Dimitri's presentation. These are all of our body maps, as you can see. Although each of these is different, we have something in common. And now we will present you each body map reflection. In my body map, you can see the keywords related to the exercise. Also, key elements are orange lines, thoughts going through my mind. We have a sun and sky, it's nice atmosphere. Our thoughts and our concerns are always in our mind. Nature had also water, river and so on. It has a calming effect. I draw the heart, it is the basis for, of everything. It's circling around the body. Earth, feel the present moment. Be a tree, still stand tall like a tree. A metaphor, you can still stand tall even with your worries. Thoughts were orange, it's a neutral color. It was appropriate in the moment. Not to go too far into brown or black because I didn't have a clear idea of what they mean. Heart, it is love. It's the basis for everything. Wedding ring is on the left side because there is an artery on the left side that connects to the heart. Love is the basis of everything, something circling. Being in the nature is completely relaxing. That's the place where I feel like I belong, that I'm a part of the universe and that the universe is part of me. According to that, I painting the drawing with the following colors. The yellow lines represent the sun rays. As I stood completely relaxed for a few minutes, I absorbed the all the energy that sun emits. Since for the past few days there were, was no sun at all, I felt the joy and happiness, and I was grateful for this energy. Fresh air is the need of every human being. Blue, the blue lines represent a breeze. It was a delightful feeling. The blue part in the head region represents a clarity of mind. I try to concentrate on the moment. To be present in the moment and not to think about other problems and things that makes everyday life. In the end, I was able to indulge in it and start to smile, even I didn't want to. The pink lines on the body are positive tingles, positive feelings and comfortable vibration that runs through the body. However, the red circle in the abdomen represents discomfort and negative emotions due to people neglects toward nature. Hand represents a tool. The brown, the brown part represents everything bad that person does to a nature with using a hand, while the purple color represents all the good things. The brown parts of the legs represent balance. As we stood there, the soil was moist, so we had to find a balance to stand still. But once I found it, I was completely indulging in nature. As we walk around, I saw branches were cut off and on the other side there were, there were saplings. It reminded me on the circle of life. In the end I saw horse feces which made me happy because it symbolized life. There is a wild horse habitat. The feces are natural fertilizer so it fits perfectly into this image of nature. The exercise was much harder than I expected. I was standing there trying to relax, but still wonder what if my boss passes by and sees me standing there in the middle of a mountain with my eyes closed and wonders what am I doing. But after a while I was able to ground in the moment. I felt the softness of the ground. It was so gentle like it was saying, it's okay, I got you. I suddenly realized that we are not just disconnected from nature, we are also disconnected from ourselves. It was amazing to feel all the sensations, the sun, birds chirping, the music from the restaurant nearby, to smell the grass. My body map shows the attempt to connect senses not just with my mind, but also with my heart. How do we create balance between mind, heart and senses? We were seeing nature on the mountain, but also footsteps and place where fire was burned. Are we living with nature or versus nature? Do we use it as a source or as a resource? the issue of connecting or disconnecting with nature, but also connecting within ourselves. We are learning from nature. I notice the pod on a tree which is protected in nature and I notice the life cycle.
at the end, I had strong sense of gratefulness for this exercise, for this experience, for this opportunity. The whole experience was amazing, and I could see how it can be implemented in different situations, starting with our exemplar, but also in so many other cases. This is our joint photo after the exercise, and you can see our happy faces. Sarajevo Exemplar will be implemented in cooperation with the Center for Healthy Aging Sarajevo through work with children and elderly people. Here we have an example of urban gardening in the city of Sarajevo. For example, the municipality Navigrad Sarajevo announced public call for free use of public land in agriculture purpose for the citizens of the municipality. COVID crisis situation showed the importance of the urban gardening and activities in nature. In Sarajevo, in the last three months, rapidly increased need for urban gardens, agriculture and outdoor activities. That would be all from our side. Thank you for your kind attention. Stay safe and we hope to see you all soon.